Hello? H hello? Oh, hello? Oh, no, uh, so early. Is everyone being good today? Oh, uh, uh, yawning. Hello, streamer. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the party. What have I missed? What's on the what's on the news today? Anything good? So bright. Do I have to turn down my f-stop? I might have to. It's very bright. Good morning. First time streaming? Yeah, this is my first time streaming. We'll see how it goes. Never streamed before. Hopefully people like the content that I put out because uh, the goal is to just uh, become a, a streaming person and uh, do this full time. So it, it, it really comes down to if people uh, like, like the content. Um, and if they do, then, uh, then we'll be a full time streamer. But if they don't, then I'm probably never streaming again, to be honest. Bow. We did it, do the beauty bow. Scoop a do. Bow, bow. Okay, so, um, let's see uh, what we can get up to today. So I've got my tibia open, and I think what I want to do is I want to capture some of the, hmm, I want to capture a bunch of data taking damage. Oh, apparently I can't type my password today. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, I should probably change this font. Uh, I know that all of you are like, hey, yeah, 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 I want a bigger font because I can't read because my eyes don't work so good. Uh, that's what you sound like, chat, okay? I didn't say it, you did. We have to watch Desu stream if you stop? Yeah, no one wants to watch Desu stream, let's be honest. No one wants to get front seated by Desu. That's just uh that's just weird, man. Okay, so in theory, uh I need to figure out what monitor that is up top. Let's let's see. Uh, sway message T get outputs. It is ba -ba -ba. whichever one is at zero. It looks like DP2. So I have Tibia up on a different monitor. Could not find DP2. And we're going to see if we can capture it. 
Honestly, this font is maybe too big, but whatever. Okay. So we're getting screen capture. We're getting good perf. It should be uh it should be 144, but it won't be because um uh because I have OBS running. Looks like OBS hurts Wayland screen capture a decent amount. I don't know if that's Sway's fault. I don't know if that's GPU fault. I don't know if I am getting like every other frame or stealing from OBS or not. I, I have no idea how any of this shit works. All I know is that we should be capturing some frames here and parsing for damage strings. So I'm going to turn... Um, let's just do string. And then we'll do... Uh, we'll put FPS in here. FPS... Yeah, 8.2 should be fine. Actually, like 5.2 should be fine. 5... 6.2, sorry. And then we'll do the actual frame rate. That way we have some decent idea of what kind of performance we're getting if we somehow end up doing something that just slaughters performance, which we won't because we do perf here. And it looks like we're not using height at all, so we'll comment that out. Let's just uh, get rid of that. Okay. So now we're capturing uh, pretty good, and when damage shows up on the screen, I should end up seeing it. So I'm gonna navigate. Um, I'm gonna. I need to go somewhere in game that I can take some consistent damage. So I want to just take some damage from like. Oh, and let's tee this. Let's tee that so we uh, save all of the damage information that we take here. Um, mum, 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 mum. There's a snake. So we're gonna see damage I'm doing to the snake. There is, I'm just attacking the snake right now. But I'm gonna go somewhere that I reliably can have only one thing attacking me. I've taken off all my armor, so I have no armor. Oh my God. Why are these overspawned? Okay, I'm gonna have to kill some of these wolves. So there's only one left. And unfortunately, I'm gonna take some damage doing this, which I really don't wanna do. I don't wanna take damage here. Cause I wanna have my whole health pool so I'm able to parse this information. So I'm kinda stair hopping these to get them as low as possible with taking as little damage as possible. And I'm kind of slaying it right now. I'm in a guard, so none of them don't have that much health right now. And since I don't have that much health, I want to take as little damage as possible. Okay. Um, so there's one mob attacking me, one wolf attacking me. I'm going to kill these other wolves. Come on. Come on. Okay, dead. All right, so now what I want to do is uh, restart the tool. So we're going to have the tool recording all of the damage that we take and the timestamps of it. In fact, I'm going to write these out to a log file here. And I'm going to wait to regen a little bit but we're going to basically save all this information and then we can start reading through the code. I just want to capture as much data as possible here, uh, which is not gonna be that much because I'm taking a lot of damage. But we're gonna be on full attack. I have my mace on, my wooden shield on, and we wanna figure out the formulas of basically how damage is dealt on the server and I have no idea it doesn't seem correct which is tough. So I don't know how we're going to figure out what the formulas are. Uh, I want to figure out like what the formulas are, what the distribution is. Um, I know what the official formula should be, so we can maybe hope that they have made an error and they're like, they've deviated slightly from what is correct. Um, but who knows? 
So I'm just waiting to regen a little bit more health here because I... I'm going to take a lot of damage really fast, unfortunately, from a wolf. I could maybe go to, like, a weaker mob, like a rat, and then collect more data. I don't know if I want to collect fewer large hits or what here. Um, I also have no way of detecting when I block a hit with my shield. Uh... So we're kind of missing some information, but that's okay. We'll capture more and more data as we go. So, all right. We're going to start the log. And holy shit, a wolf has respawned already. God damn it. Okay, so now we have to restart the log. Okay. Now this is one wolf attacking me. Okay, I took six damage. Poof, poof. Blood, blood, poof, blood, poof, blood. I forget if spark is blocking with the shield or if poof is blocking with the shield, but this is really good. I'm, I'm collecting some good data here. I'm at like half health. I could also go to my other character and see if I can uh, take more damage that way. Also, the... Uh, Attacks don't seem to consistently go out, which is really weird. The, like, attacks should be going out every two seconds, and they're definitely not on this server, and it feels really bad. Like, I don't know why there's just random delays in taking damage or doing damage, but it makes knights feel really inconsistent. I don't know. The server owner has their head up their ass and they're pretty convinced that they're like the best fucking developer on the planet and they made no mistakes and everything is literally perfect um but it's clearly not the case i don't know why they're so full of themselves <laughs> but it makes reporting any issues really difficult because they're just going to by default assume that they are correct and you are wrong and I don't even think they'd read through like a bunch of evidence if it is wrong. So we're just going to figure out how the server actually works and see if we can play uh, to the limits of the server. So I'm almost almost at the end of capturing my data here. I'm getting low health here. Although now this wolf isn't hitting me for shit. I don't know when I'm taking poofs or when I'm taking damage. So I'm going to have to kind of assume that between blood hits i'm reliably taking damage so we'll see but i'm also really curious to see how how much time there is between attacks because there should be and that i want to end on a blood hit as well okay i'm at 29 health what's the most damage i've taken from a hit like seven so we can keep going a bit further there's nine, two, one. Three. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. Oh, come on. Okay, the last damage I took was a three. I'm turning off the log, and then we're going to save that. Uh, log.txt, this is going to be wolf attacking, uh, zero arm, 14 death dot text. Okay. So now I have basically saved, uh, that damage log and we can take a look at it. But what did I say the last hit I took was? Should be two or three. Okay. Okay, so um, now we have all of the damage. FPS looks good, so it looks like we've been capturing uh, good data. The higher the FPS, the better resolution our timestamping is. So it looks like our timestamping is going to be accurate within 10 milliseconds, which is going to make me pretty happy here. Okay. Um, bah, 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 bah. So my first hit was at 4.305. Um... I was the only one taking damage, so and I wasn't dealing any damage. So all of these should be inbound damage to me. Um, you can see the number like scrolling up on the screen here. Uh, and that's something that I don't really know how I'm going to compensate for. 
Uh, this is at the very end when I was moving off screen. So I'm actually going to manually prune that data. And this should mean that... It's interesting that there was an 868 pixel. Okay, so I'm not going to prune that data then. Um, all right. So first we have to separate these into individual attacks, which we don't really know what attacks are uh, because this is just a number that shows up on screen but I know that every single blood hit so every number on here was damage that I took and I know that I can only take damage like every two seconds so I think what I'm gonna do is find where the damage starts and then uh, give like I don't know a one second delay how long is that number on the screen here so the six 5.21 and 4.3. So I imagine that the animation lasts for one second. I don't think it's a coincidence that it's that close. Um, the animation fades out, so the, the text fades out, and I don't capture the like different faded version of the of the text. So that's why it probably lasts for one second on screen. And then there is like a hundred millis that it's fading out until it disappears entirely would be my guess. So what we're going to do is we're going to say from new damage, we're just going to add 1.5 seconds and we're going to ignore everything for that 1.5 seconds. So we're going to write like a little Python script or regex or some shit to parse this. Um, pretty simple format. And at the end is just that damage number that we took. Um, make sure all of these are damage events and they should be. I don't think anything ever goes full red on the screen. Um, that is numbers. Okay. So, um, yeah, we got to write a little Python script that parses this. We should have basically 10 millisecond resolution and my ping is 30 millis. So we should actually have pretty good information of, of effectively like, when damage is going out because I, I i don't think damage is going out consistently so i'm really 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 interested in seeing the frequency of these hits um i'm wearing no armor so i don't think it is possible for me to ever defend with armor but we'll take a look at the original formulas of tibia um that I have reversed out that I'm pretty sure I correct and maybe those maybe I've reversed it out incorrectly as well but I know that the damage on the server does not match the leaked official 7.7 .7 tibia because I have that running as a server and when I set up a character with the same skills exact same gear exact same whatever I'm taking like 10 hits per second from dwarves uh on the official server and on this server i'm taking like one hit per hour like it is not even close to the same formula now it's important to note that the amount of damage i'm taking is so low that it could be like a difference of rounding or random number generation distribution um or it could be like a mob stat being interpreted incorrectly or or something like that so um, we're hopefully going to make some progress and figure out some permutation of the official algorithm for damage and maybe find some way that we could slightly change it and get different results that match the server. So to do that, we're going to need to capture a lot of data. And I do have a higher level character, um, that I could also use to collect some data, but I also want an area that's quiet and I don't have to deal with other people coming in and out and potentially causing damage because right now I don't have a good way of knowing like who's taking damage so I want to basically control to make sure that the only damage being received is the damage to myself okay um so uh this looks really good we have those timestamps let's write uh, a simple parser and python for this so re um, matcher is equal to re dot compile uh, start of line. Um, maybe some white space uh, zero through nine and dots 
Do you have to escape dots in here? I don't think so. So one or more of those. A space. A pipe. Which I think has to be escaped. X. Um, find all. Open. Wolf. Attacking. Zero arm. 14 def. Dot text. Dot read. I don't know. I think that's roughly how Python works, right? No, it's not even remotely how Python works. Let me get rid of that. Okay, what am I not matching on here? Um. Oh, you have to escape pluses, don't you? No, 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 no. Uh, no. Oh, maybe I should print the matches or something like that? That'd be a good idea. Okay, well, that uh, didn't change anything. You need to prefix the string with R. I mean, you don't have to. It just changes how escapes work, right? So you just have to get the escapes right if you're if you're not using R. Anyways, um, but yeah, that did seem to work for this specific case because I don't know what I was escaping wrong or right or whatever. Not that I really give a shit. So, uh, zero more white space. Um. End of line. Will that match? End of line. Okay, good. Uh, pipe X colon uh, zero more white space, which I think is always at least one space here. Uh, zero through nine. And the same thing again for Y. Uh, oh, yep, these pipes need to be escaped. Oh, uh, uh, what? Uh, okay, that's good. Oh, I don't have a thing there. There we go. Okay. And still doesn't work. God damn it. Here, we'll do one or more white space, I guess. Eh, I like being more explicit with uh, how I'm actually formatting these. Oh, uh, multiple of these and multiple of these. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, FPS colon space. 0 through 9 dot plus. Escape one of these. And then the damage. 0 through 9 plus. And then that should be end of line. Fuck. Is that not end of line? Uh, four line in this dot split lines. Print matcher dot find. I don't know. I just want to match here. Uh, line. Oh, we did it! Um, okay. Okay, so now we should have the time. Uh, X and Y we don't care about, and the FPS we don't care about. All right. Um, time is equal to float group one and damage. Damage is int group two. Print time damage. Oh my god, I'm so fucking good. Okay, uh, time ignore is equal to zero. If time, I'll we'll just say negative one. If time is greater than or equal to uh, time ignore, uh, time ignore is equal to time plus 1.5 seconds. Filter damage for the next 1.5 seconds. Right? So now this should be all of the discrete damage that I took. And interestingly, 
Um, six six three four three. I also have the in-game log here. Oops. And this should hopefully match up. Six six three four three four one six two two six four three two two four three three four one five three uh one five five two four four one five seven two three nine two one three three okay so it looks like we have accurately parsed everything yeah and if i drop this to like 0 0.5 we'll start getting dupes yep 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 yep, yep. even 1.0 should work but we'll do 1.5 for a little bit of extra safety and jitter and whatever. So now we have very, very accurately timestamped damage, which we did not have uh, before. Okay, so damage should be going out every two seconds, and we can already see here it doesn't look like that is the case. Uh, we also need to determine how many actual hits we took here. Um... So let's see, we'll do, uh, yeah, it looks like attacks are like 2.2 seconds, which is so weird. It's literally a 10% reduction of fucking damage. Like how? Bruh. That's so stupid. Um... And then, uh, yeah, so how many hits are in here? I really wish we had a little bit more data here. We'll have to collect that on a higher level character that's taking less damage. So this is the, uh, yeah, I don't know how many hits I took because I don't know what the timing is on these. So I think what I'm going to do is like resync these last damage is equal to negative one none. Uh, last damage is equal to time. So we're going to save uh, last damage. Okay. Yup, and then that won't work here, so we'll say uh, if if we have last damage, this is now going to show deltas. Um, let's make this readable. Do 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 do. Ten dot four f. ten dot six f. Okay, so now we should see the amount of time since the last hit. Um, huh, what's WC, water closet? So, we want... Two point two two, two point two five. Like, why is? I mean, arguably that's within the realm of latency, which is according to the client thirty ms. I don't really trust latency in clients. I don't know if that's a latency to a to a proxy to like a, a filtering server to like a DDoS protection server. It says 33 millis, but that could be 33 millis to some proxy that then goes up 100 millis to the actual server. So it's really, really, really hard to say uh, what my actual ping is. I'm not a big believer in the ping that games give you because they usually have some sort of proxying mechanism. Um, But yeah, I mean, I should only have probably 100 millis tops of jitter. Yeah, like, some of these attacks are a little bit faster. And then this would be uh, the number of attacks 
Yeah, like here, why are we attacking fast? Like why is there no why is there so much noise on these? I should be able to take this number and divide it by two. And this would tell me the number of hits. Right? Yep, so this is like one hit, two hits, two hits, three hits. But even this is getting to the point that, like, I might round the wrong direction. Like, what the fuck? Like, this. What do I do with this? Do Is that a six or a five? Like, what the fuck is this game, dude? I don't think that's the case in the official game. That's ridiculous. Ah. <sighs> uh I might have to do something that allows me to determine when I get poofed, which is when I when I block a hit. I don't know how. Because unfortunately, unlike the blood hit, the poof is subject to the um it's subject to uh the light on the screen. So it's not always the same like UI effect. Sometimes it can be more obscured or, or different. I don't know what I can do about that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Dude, what is this game? Why is it so inconsistent? Let me get the actual uh, official game running. And then I can look at that and see if that's also inconsistent. I'm pretty sure it isn't. Um, Tibia... Query manager. I should be able to just run the query manager. And I'm probably going to have to restart the server. But let's see. Wine. Drive C. It's actually okay because I can show you the actual game. The reason that I'm not showing you shade cores is not actually for any, like, um cheating reason it's that on sway when windows move around um that confuses the anti-cheat of the like custom client and it triggers auto bans so basically i need to make sure that that window is like always full screen and never am i switching workspaces i think the problem is when you switch workspaces your mouse just shows up in the middle of the screen and i think that there's shitty anti-cheat is expecting that their the mouse like must fly into the screen. It can't just teleport into it. There's probably some leeway for like alt tabs, but um I've never gotten banned on my desktop because I have multiple monitors, but on my laptop when I heavily switch workspaces, I was getting auto banned every like 15 minutes and the server owner was getting really annoyed having to undo the bans. Um now, yeah, obviously it's a false positive and you should just fix this thing, but it's a game meant for Windows. Like, he's not going to go too far out of his way to support my fucking, like, wine on a tiling window manager setup, right? Like, that's not super reasonable to expect. So, uh, we got to connect into the uh, server and restart that quick. But yeah, uh, unfortunately, due to that specific mechanic, um, I have to be... Careful. That's why I'm not showing it on screen because showing it on screen means that I would have to like workspace it or like drag it in here in weird ways, and it it's just it's too it's it's too risky. Okay. Um. But with the official client, 
that won't be a problem. So we'll uh, we'll bang that official client right in here, no problem. And then uh, I can also do things like give myself nearly infinite health, and then we could take infinite fucking damage and really really collect some some data there. So um. But yeah, if you're curious, here's what I sent the server owner, where I had two characters, the exact same setup, and on one of them, I was taking, like, no fucking damage um, on his server, and on the other one, I'm taking damage, like, multiple times a minute, right? And that is a problem. So, we're resuming this Tibia virtual machine from disk, apparently. Probably did a shutdown or something. I'm going to switch playlists here as well. How's the stream? I'm not seeing any dropped frames. So, encoding or network, nothing dropped. Not a single frame dropped on anything. Encoding, rendering, or network. So... Uh, we should be in really good shape for uh, stream quality. And 100% health. Looks like everyone's getting a healthy stream, which is pretty dank. Okay, so we're going to sue, shut down H now. Uh, S bin. Actually, just reboot. S bin reboot. So we're going to reboot the game server. We're gonna make sure that that comes up. I don't trust restoring a like an existing session to work. Okay. So yeah, we're running this in uh, in CentOS here. You got some some ancient CentOS <laughs> that we're running this server in. Alternatively, you could always do some OBS scene changing to show it. Um, yeah, yeah, you're right. I could add another capture of the other screen. Um, okay, just waiting for that to come up. In fact, I might do that. That might just be way easier, uh, even for what I'm doing here, because then I can have it full screen. I just like the game full screen. I don't want to play in some tiny fucking window. It's ass. Okay. Um, game, bin game, this is probably going to fail to run due to PID, yep, remove, save, game.pid, all right, so now we're going to launch the server, so this is loading all of the map data, I guess, is what this does, I don't know, loading sector, this isn't what I wanted, It's crazy how slow this is. I think it's just the disk emulation. But even when I... It, it's specifically on CentOS. When I run this, like, natively, which is really hard to do because you, you need to, like, compat with 2003 Linux binaries. Um, I don't have this perf issue. So I don't know if, like, old CentOS was really slow or if this is just a VM. Okay, Monster Homes. There we have it, uh, and there it is. It's up. So this is the server completely up. You can see those monsters, like, talking and stuff. So, um... And then, uh... Uh... Tibia server dot text. If you want to join, uh, come over here. So this is, uh, how you set up this, uh, client. It's pretty easy. And then Blue Demons, I think, is the character that I kind of hacked up. Oops. I I pasted in my browser, and this causes browsers to crash. Okay. Um, so I lost chat, but that's okay. Chat hasn't been chatting too much yet. 
account start text. I have no idea why pasting sometimes just crashes Firefox. It's probably an SE Linux thing. Oh, it's when I paste out of the browser. Okay. Yeah, so that is definitely um SE Linux. I just need to set that up, but Okay, so we'll type this in. Uh Hey, and there I am. Okay. So, um there's me logging in. And um I'm in the dwarf place. And what I'll be able to do here is change out like different damage, different stats, different equipment and stuff. Let me uh get the client up. I mean, I can just throw it here. Okay, so here's what the uh the game looks like, and then I'll put a little bit of shit here. Um so I have like 55 axe, 54 shielding, and a shit ton of health. I gave myself like a, a ridiculous amount of health. Um, just so I can test stuff for like a really long time. So, um What I think I want to do is I wanna get a shittier shield. Do these drop shields? I don't think they do. Uh we can just go full attack. Hopefully we take enough damage here. I think my skills just might be too high here, to be honest. So we might have to change my skills or, or do something else or try a different character. Um, but let's see if my, uh, my screen scraping stuff works. So let's uh, Carter run release. I think the game uses the same font as the custom server. So I hope that these numbers will just show up. I need to take damage, though. I'll take off my shield. Oh, there we go. I just took one damage and nothing printed. Oh, interesting. Is it a different font? No. No, don't be a different font. Is it a different color? I could do different color. Yeah, let's take damage again. Um, let's see, hopefully, hopefully I can paste into GIMP, yes. And then what color is this? Ooh, let's go, it's 254 on this one. <laughs> okay, uh, hopefully the font's still the same. We don't know yet. Uh, if that or uh, FE. What a wild difference. Hey, let's go. I'm a fucking god. All right. So now, um, let me get out of this spot. The other thing is the uh, the damage stacks in this version. I'm taking so much damage. Holy dick. Uh, I got to go get some parcels or, or do something so I can reliably take only one, only damage from one mob. Actually, let's go, uh, let's set up a root guard character. Um, I don't know. Anyone who has no vocation will uh, will likely count here. So let me set up uh, another capture of this. Um, add a pipe wire capture. That's going to be this. Bam. And I'll put that up there for now, okay? Nice. Nice. Look at this. I need to pop out chat so I can read chat better. Uh, where's the link for the pop out chat? <sighs> Stream chat. Pinned messages. Chat.
Okay. That is way better. Okay. Now I can see chat. I've got my game open. Now we're ready to fucking party. Just waiting to lose combat, and I, I don't think I drop combat on that floor. I will drop combat on this floor. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to find some uh, some character and, and hack up their uh, their health, make it really high. Let's just find... Uh, what's the highest level uh, no vocation here? A level 33. Holy dick. That is insane, dude. It's actually ridiculous. Um, so I need to go into the server. Test. There we go. Thank God I can redo those. Line B. Line A. Okay. And then, yeah, I, the music has been off. So, but music, capture, everything's there. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Should be there. Um, That screen's recording. The main screen is not recording, that's fine. Properties, select monitor this, and that will reset it. So that's really good. It looks like with the Wayland capture stuff, the Pipewire capture stuff, I'm able to like re restart these without restarting the stream, which is really good, because on X, that was often a problem. Okay, so I'm level 33, 21 sword, uh, 26 shielding. I've got fishing. Fishing's actually really nice. Um, so yeah, so I'll be able to take off my gear and armor. So when I don't have any armor, I don't know if I have zero defense. I don't know like what the default amount of defense is, which is kind of weird. So I kind of want to have some weapon. Let me go, let me go farm out, uh, some gold quick. What's the fastest way to get gold? Dude, like, how do I... Oh, there's my fishing rod. So I do have a fishing rod. We'll kill some... Some rats here. I should be able to mow these down, right? The other thing is I can put on a bunch of armor and then deal damage to enemies. Okay, it's 10 gold. Let's buy a torch quick. I to torch, yes. The same. Okay, now you'll be able to see better. 
heart stays. Is Wayland still hit or miss on NVIDIA? Yeah, I've got like really bad screen flickering issues. I'm just never going to get an NVIDIA card again. So that'll solve that problem. Fuck God. Oh, yeah, and you need worms to fish on this version of the game. So we should collect those worms. Because we will want to have uh, fish. Fish will be very useful for us to um, regen if we have to. I mean, we don't have to because we have infinite fucking health. So I just want to get like a, a rope. Technically, I don't need a rope. I want to get like a wooden shield. So once we get just a little bit of gold. Come on. It's crazy being this strong in Rutgard. This is insane. These skills are so high. High wooden shield, yes. Okay, so now I have a wooden shield, and I had a mace on the other character. So I have a wooden shield and a katana. And then I'm going to go to the wolf. The exact same wolf that I was fighting before. Nice, I am taking damage. That's good. But, okay, so there's a four spawn. I'm just getting rid of all these wolves. So we have just one here that's attacking me. Okay, we've got one attacking me. And now I should be, I'm just going to kill this one to be extra triple XL safe. Okay, so I have a wooden shield, so I should have the same defense as I had. So I have uh, 14 defense, zero armor, and then I have a katana. I have higher shielding. I have 26 shielding, so I will um, be defending a little bit more. And then we'll say log official dot text. Okay. And now we're just gonna take damage for a while. Oh, let me, uh, I'm gonna clear this window. So I have a fresh window, and then I'm gonna capture that data. I don't know, should I set myself to have the exact same amount of, hmm. Yeah, I'm taking like no damage because I have such high shielding. What shielding did I have on the on the official server? Does anyone remember? Because yeah, I'm just not taking enough damage here. Let me uh. So this neuro fuzzy. So uh, twenty six shielding. So this is my shielding. We'll just go to ten shielding, and ten sword fighting, which is the twenty one. So six and eight, and then I'm gonna have to shut down this server quick, because that's the way it works. Okay, so now I'll have uh, 10 shielding, 10 sword. So I'm going to have like really, really low mitigation here. The more damage I take, the easier it is to like basically uh, collect this data. So, and I shouldn't get skill ups because I think, I think the later part of these lines is like... Uh, 
skill advancement uh, XP and stuff. So I think I still have like a shit ton of XP to go until I uh, until I skill up. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, I gotta turn it off again. I guess I can't edit the file in place. So I gotta wait for it to go down. Then I switch to this. Then I reopen this because it's flushed out. Then we do 10 and 10. Bam. There's a, like, caching layer. Um, so editing uh, character files like this is kind of hard. Nothing for me to say. Okay, it's almost up. Stop before you left. Okay. And there we go. There we go. Now we have 10 and 10. Hopefully we don't get skill advances here. Because I think I have like a shit ton of XP until I get a skill up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we would be seeing these bars going up for these skills. So we're going to kill these wolves. Okay, so we should be, like, locked into 1010, which is fantastic. It's exactly what we want. Okay. Now I've got one wolf on me. We can clear this window. And we should be able to collect data. So I'm on full attack. 10 sword, 10 shield. Unless it uses the XP or something, how am I not taking any damage? How am I not taking any damage? What if I drop my shield and my uh, sword? Because if you have a sword, it will use your um, sword skill. And the defense on that, if I take that off, I don't know if I have a default block. And it looks like I do, because I can still block hits. I don't know what the default defense is for fisting. Never been more clear than it is right now. Uh, 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 tibia. Ghidra is really fucky on Wayland. Just a heads up. Uh, Wayland with, um, NVIDIA, that is. Uh, let's go into stacking mode. Okay, so let's go to um, close. Is it close attack? I think this is like the deal damage function. Yeah, get skills. This is if we're in uh, full attack. This is if we're in... Um, so, can I do comments here? Um... Okay. Full attack. This is full defense. So these are like the different attack modes that you can be in for a character. Um, so get attack value. Let me fix these signatures. All the signatures are fucked, unfortunately. Uh, so we have to like manually make these. Um, this is going to be a uh, short times uh, value. Then we have a uh, U short times skill. And this function returns a void, I guess. Okay. But yeah, we're going to have to 
manually kind of edit these signatures over and over. And what was that? Value and skill. Attack skill. I'm going to turn off the tibia view for now. Well, DWM replacement, this is Sway. Okay, so uh, we're going to get the attack value. And get attack value, I think this is going to look through character items to look for items that have defense. And I think this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is get attack value. Um, yep, this is going to get the amount of attack that I have. So like a weapon, for example, like my katana has 16 attack. So I think what this is going to do is it's going to search your character for the item to use for the attack slot. And then it's going to uh, look for what skill is the correct skill ID for that type of attack. Okay. Um, so we have, if close object ID is none, yeah, if, uh, so this is, if there is no, um, if there is no close range weapon equipped if there's no close range weapon equi equipped yeah right and then we're gonna do a uh, check for a throne item i don't know what throne is um if there is a th throne item oops didn't want to do that whatever I don't know what a throne item is. Missile. That's going to like get the attack of the ammo. Get object type ammo. So none of that applies here. This is going to check. Or wait, no. If it's none. If there's a throne item, then do this. If there's a wand, do this. If there's this, do this. Otherwise... Uh, there's no item. There's no weapon, which is what happens if I'm completely naked. Like, right now I'm completely naked, so this should happen. Object type, that should be null. So if it is zero, then we use the B skill. Which I would imagine is fist fighting. Uvar 3 is B by default, and then we reassign it B. And then what is the attack? Race data attack for this race. I don't know, like, what my race data and attack is. See, the problem with having no item is I'm kind of concerned what the game considers to be, um, what the server does for this attack. I think it is seven. I think fisting is seven attack. Question is like, what is my race? What is race data? What would this master race be? Because there's a lot of these. I also don't know, these might be dynamically populated. Um, I 
because that's going to get the attack. Otherwise, if there is an item, it's going to get that item's attack. So this is getting the default attack for that race. But this is the damage that is being dealt to me as, uh, as a player. So this would be the monster's attack. So you don't actually care about that right now. We then get the attack skill. We get the skill for that mob. Yep, so we look up the skill uh, for that attack skill. Um, this is attack skill type. So we have the attack skill type, and then this is the attack skill. Yep, and then this is the formula, right? So on full attack... There's this, uh, there's this benefit, and on full defense, you lose some attack. I think mobs, by default, are in balanced. And that's one of the things that I think this... Um, I think this is one of the things that the game potentially... Uh, the server might get wrong, is what the default state is. Then we're going to... Uh, get the seven... What is the... What's skill 7? I think I uh, wrote these down somewhere. Emperary. Uh. So I have a damage simulator where I've kind of reverse engineered out a lot of this stuff. Um, but we're going to be double checking that. Silent is brighter than the one. Okay. GDB P, uh, uh, pit of? No pit of. Uh, GDB cat, uh, GDB P cat game, uh, save game dot pid. Okay. And then we're going to set a breakpoint on close attack. Shit. Uh, T combat, close attack. Bam, nice. There we go. Um, print this. Uh, oh, we gotta do a little steppage, I think. DFD. DFD is the creature. Uh... Next, next. Next, 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 next. Attack, 11, defend, 48. Oops. Uh, we're actually going to continue. We're going to delete breakpoints. I'm going to keep kind of resuming the game because I don't want to disconnect myself. Um, so let's find a better place to hook. Get defend damage. Damage. I think this is going to actually perform the damage. This is setting the learning points, which is like skill. Or this is computing the damage. This is then going to... You're poisoned. Oh, this is poisoning. If it's a uh, poison... Okay. Get defend damage... 
I think this is going to do the roll. Yep. I think this is actually defending, if we can. And that's defending... What about armor? Is that done here? I think this is actually applying the damage. Where is armor factored in? It would have to be in damage, I think. If the damage is greater than zero, so this is like damage done. If the damage done is greater than zero, then we reset our learning points. Again. Show me that he is still here. Uh-oh. Did I DC myself? Oh, SIG user. Shit. Looks like the game survives long pauses, so that's good. Uh... If damage done is less than one... Because so I think this is actually applying the damage. This has to be. In which case, get defend damage. This is looking for a shield. Show me that he is still here. Looks like we got a lot of SIG users. Um. It kind of has to be in here, right? That should fix parameters. If it's a player... Yep, that's having the damage done uh, in player versus player combat. Record attack. If damage is less than one, then that's probably like display poof effect would be my guess. How do I uh, disable SIG user uh, things? Get body object. Get attribute, get flag. That's going through all of the skills. Damage type. Fire, energy, armor. Here we go. If damage type is one, so I imagine that's like, if it's physical damage, get the armor strength. Let's uh, fix that signature. get the armor strength, and then we're going to subtract that off. This is going to do the roll. Yes, this is doing the random armor reduction roll. Okay. So, really, I think what matters is the armor here. What's local 40? Oh, this is going to... This is probably for each item, for each equipment slot... Right? I would imagine this is for each equipment slot. Accumulate armor. Armor starts at zero. And at the end, it is like your inherent armor, I guess. Plus the armor from all of the gear. In all of your worn slots. And then we just, uh, we turn that into a U-short, which is fine. If that is greater than one, then we do a roll. Handle SIG user one ignore. Thank you. Is that going to pass it to the program? Is that a problem? I don't know. I don't give a shit. Probably fine. 
Okay, so this is going to um, sum up all armor in all equipment slots, right? That has to be what that's doing. Sum up all armor in all equipment slots. Um... Armor. So equipped armor, and then we're, yep. You've our five, so we're getting the armor. Armor amount, getting the attribute off of that. We can probably fix this signature. I really need to make like a Ghidra script to fix up these signatures. I think it's just an old version of Dwarf, and Ghidra just parses it incorrectly. Yep, there we go. Armor value. Oh, I DC'd. Uh, it doesn't seem happy with this. Or did someone log in as my character to troll me? Um. Sig user. I think I need to be passing these to the program. So I'm probably going to have to restart the server. Okay. Uh, but yeah, there we can see body position. Get object type. Let's fix this. Get flag. It's funny that it has all of these uh, calling conventions wrong. It's pretty annoying. Okay. Um, get the body object. Uh, looks like we have that calling convention wrong here. This one might actually be a this call. No, this has to have a this. Right? That has to have a this. You think this is a T combat type situation? Get body container. Let's see if that. No, maybe it's not this. Unless this one is just a, a this call. Yeah, that position is correct. Local 2C. No fucking idea. But anyways, that's going to get the... Maybe there... Maybe it isn't this call? See decal? No, it's passing in that first thing. I, I don't know what it is, but uh, it's passing something in. But yeah, that's getting... The body object at that position, probably into this. Um, if that object exists, get the type of the object. If it is closed, so that is like, I guess, wearable. If it is, so if it's close, get the body position. If it's in that slot, which it would be, then if it's armor, then get the armor value. Yeah, that's 100% what it's doing. It is for each slot, for each wearable slot on your character, it is 
checking if it is equipment. If it is equipment, it's checking if it's armor. If it's armor, it's getting the armor value. And then it is summing those up using, looks like it's as a U short. Then at the very end, it then takes that and will um, add your race data base armor and add your equip armor. And then it's going to take that and add it down. That's your armor value. So we're going to see if there is an inherent base amount of armor for characters. So that's the first thing we're going to do here. Um... Help handle. Handle sig user one pass uh let the program see the signal and then no stop. Don't stop the debugger. So this should be don't stop, it will print. And it will pass it to program. So this should be... Oh, shit. There's a lot of wolves here. I gotta kill these wolves quick. Yep, there's all the SIG users going right through. Perfect. We could even turn on... Turn off print. Can someone in chat type out uh, this command? This one? We'll turn on no print as well. That. Handle sig user one, whatever, whatever, so that I can copy it later when I want it later. Okay. Took off all my armor. Thanks. So this should allow the game to run. All right, I have no armor, no equipment, absolutely nothing equipped on my character right now, okay? So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a breakpoint. Um, it looks like EAX at this point. Uh. Break OX eight oh C five one forty. Bam. Um I R EAX 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 Zero Armor. And how do I um how do I have the breakpoint print something? Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up uh, SSH here. So this is going to be more usable. Uh, two. Um... Quit and detach. Yes. Server's still running. Perfect. Um, IP, IF config. Oh, shit. Um, uh, Sue, so, them, SSH, SSHD config, ports. 23. Uh, init D, SSH D, restart. Nice. Uh, P23. Hmm. Why? Why? Um, K 
can I not connect to a, a VM thingy? Or do I need to like set up a forwarding? Let's see what I have here. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, looks like I do have some pass through stuff. Uh, pass through twenty three to seven. Uh, will this pass through stuff take effect right away? No. Next guest shutdown. Are you fucking serious? Oh, that's ass. Okay, I guess we'll shut down the server. Shut down H now. Okay. Pog hat, thanks. It is a pog hat. Power down. Force off. Okay. Forward. Uh, to 22. Port forward TCP. Please work. Um... Okay, permission denied. Uh, all right. Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, SHD. Hey, we did it. Okay. All right. Um, Save, remove the PID file, start the game. Okay, uh, how the fuck do I do this again? Um, uh, um, uh, Let's see. We're going to need a lot of these flags, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh. Uh. Uh. Come on. Uh, get some ciphers going and then 
also need uh oh host key algorithms is ssh rsa uh game at a uh, typo a uh, typo we got another problem There's a cipher type issue. AES 128CBC. Come on, get me in. Maybe it's just a really, really slow auth. Hey! We did it! Okay. Um. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh, let's go! Oh my god. Oh, usable setup. <sighs> oh! 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 oh. oh. Oh! Oh, Pog Champ! Pog Champ! <laughs> Let's be honest, that was pretty ass without that. She <laughs> had on a virtual serial cable. Telnet. Should have done Telnet. Oh my god, their server's saving five minutes. Are you fucking serious? Oh, of course. Of course I have server save on. Ex exactly right about now. Sick. 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 What are the fucking odds? All right. Uh, break this. Uh, how do we have break do a command thingy? How do, how do we get break to do stuff for us? Get armor strength. Uh, show this. Uh, uh, value is zero. Okay, it looks like that's value. Um, help break. Break. Uh... Set a breakpoint. Uh, how do uh, how, how do you how do you run GDB run command on break? Break commands. Uh. Oh, I see. I see. Um, info, locals, continue, end. Come on. Oh, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. So now I have zero armor on. So if I put on my legs. Ah, now I got two armor. And put on this. Now I should have eight. Pog champ. Pog champ. Okay, so it looks like you have zero armor. And then watch this. I'm going to attack the wolf, and we'll see how much armor the wolf has. Oh, God, how do I turn off the, the fucking return to continue shit on GDB, which is the dumbest shit on the planet? So let me try and get a blood hit on this wolf, and we'll be able to see the wolf's armor. Does the wolf have zero armor? Or is this a different code path? Might be a different code path. Oh my god. How do I turn off the fucking scrolling stuff? Why is that on GDB by default? 
It's so fucking stupid. Nobody ever wants it. I'm sorry, Richard Stallman. It's not 1983 anymore. Don't have fucking less by default. If you want to less something, use less. Uh, and then boot should be one armor. Beautiful. Okay. So now let's see if we can figure out how much defense we have. Get defend damage. Yep, this is doing the defend formulas. There we go. I should fix that. Um, um, get defend value right here. Um, and then we have a short called value, and we have a U short called skill. Okay, B get object type, get attribute, same fucking thing here. get the attribute which should be um oh isn't it like set pagination off okay then we want to put a breakpoint Value. Ooh, is this the default armor? 11? Or default block? Is the default block 11? Oh, no, that's the skill. I want the value. Where's the, where's the value get set? Here, SVAR1. Right here. So I'll put a breakpoint on this bad bopper. Uh, 80C6D74. Um, uh, IR X X five. So I guess you, you always have five defense. I'm going to imagine that that means that I have five defense. Um, and then let's make, uh, let's make a GDB script. Set pagination off. Disable the SIG user shit. Break on... Uh, where's that first breakpoint? This. Get armor strength. Um, command one for breakpoint one. Uh, info locals continue end. Uh, command two. There's probably a better way to do this, but I don't know how to, you know. Uh, 80C674. And then continue. Right? GDB. And then I want to run a command. 
Uh, command. Uh, GDB script. Oh, let's go! I'm so fucking smart! Okay. So I want the value, which is an AX. Short? How do I... Interesting. Okay, so, um, GDB script. We'll do, uh, print short EAX. And I think it's the same thing up here as well. Um, let's go to this address. I really need to make my clipboard work. Oh, yep. I crashed that because my clipboard. Fuck! <sighs> um. It's because these are different contexts. Uh, it's a whole fucking thing. It's annoying as shit. Um, oh, and now I killed everything. Uh, I killed Firefox because I pasted from Firefox. God fucking damn it. That's annoying as shit, man. <sighs> Um. Oh, I gotta relaunch Firefox. Oh, 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 do 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 uh copy paste okay copy from here paste um Uh, okay. I don't understand. Where, why? Clipboard. Bro, what the fuck? What? What? Ha, what? Why is this not bitching now? Uh Okay. Oh, I killed something. Uh, 
looks like a FIFO type beat. Okay. All right. I should have solved it. Press one if you think that I've solved it. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go to here. Oh, I did it. I did a copy and paste. What about this one? Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Yep. So, ax. Ax there. And this one is ax as well. Okay. All right. So it looks like the defend value is five and the armor strength is zero. And let me put on a shield. Yep. Now I have 14 defense. So it looks like the default defense is five. I'm going to go to balanced mode. Still five. Okay. Now I'm going to put on a sword. Defense is now 12. I'm going to take off the sword, and it's 5. I'm going to put on a stronger shield, and it's 19. I'm going to put on a sword and a shield, and it should be 19. I'm going to take off that. Okay. Nice. Nice. Take me out to where I want to be. All right, so now we should be... Let's see what, how this code actually works. Get defend value. Where does the 5 come from? I guess that's race data defend. Is that just the default defense? Or is it this? S far 1. Wait. All these cases get the race data defend value. Otherwise, get the object type, get the shield. Get object type. How does this know the shield? Because the shield can be a weapon as well. Like in this case, it should be printing 12. Yep, because that's my weapon. I'm going to take that off, put on a different weapon. Actually, let's put on a bow. Yep. Oh, a bow! A bow has no defense. Go to here. Is this ret? Yeah, I think bows have no defense. But if I take off the bow, we should be back to having five. Or maybe I need to... Well, wait. Value is zero. Yep, value is set to zero. Really, all we care about is the return location. How many rats are there from this function? Is there just one rat? Looks like only one rat. So, uh, on ret, we want to get the value. Uh, so, ret. I think we want to be in the frame still. That's setting the skill. So, let's say this is at exit. What's a sig32? 
fuck is that? Uh, break on this. Well, print, uh, deref skill. I should be able to deref skill, right? Uh, why can't I copy this? Copy. Paste. Okay. Um, hopefully the frame is valid there. Info local. Info args. Uh, ooh. Oh, because it's an ampersand. I see. Uh, print value. Yep, because it's a value. Hey, there we go. Now, how do I, like, print F? Do I have to new line it? Beautiful. Uh, armor. Uh, get defend value. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Okay. And then if I put uh, a weapon on, defend value is 12. Yup. Take that off. Put on a bow. And it is zero. So it looks like you can't. So I should always get blood hits when I have a bow on. Which is actually really cool. Because I have no armor. I have no armor and no defense. So yeah, so you have, by default, you have uh, five defense. I should be able to get some poofs here or there. And if I go into full defense, I should be able to like block more. I take, yeah, I'll take less damage in full defense. That is really cool. Um, okay, how do I turn off the like breakpoint header shit? Then we'll do armor strength. And then that should be the sum of all armor. Equipped armor. And then we're going to write that out. And then compare the armor here. So it should be flushed out to equipped armor. Okay, info locals, is it value? Looks like that's probably value. Let me put on uh, some armor, value should become five. Not doing screen capture anymore, are you serious? No, it's still doing screen capture. Um, one, four, six, one, four, six, and the value should be flushed out. So we should be able to just print value, get armor. Hey, and then if I take off my armor, armor should go down to zero. I think they mean the project. Well, we're that's that's to help us with reversing, and now we're doing the reversing. My day. 
calling my day. <laughs> Your fucking accent's wild in this song. If armor's grilling in two, otherwise return armor strength. So that's going to replace it. And then that's going to be the amount that we block. So if we have any armor, we always block one. Oh, uh, Sig 32. How the fuck? The fuck is a Sig 32, chat? Bam. All right. Sig 32s are ignored. Now we're cooking, chat. Okay. Five. So get defend value. That is the amount of armor we have. And then we're randomly going to pick. Um, so it looks like you always get half of your armor. So armor divided by two plus random mod half your armor. So yeah, I think it blocks from, um, that means this should, your armor should reduce the amount of damage that you take, because where is this called? Uh, antique creature damage, and it's just going to subtract it, right? Um, armor mitigation. So... There we go. So we get the amount that armor should mitigate, and then we take the damage and we subtract that. If the damage is less than zero, then it will just be a poof. That will be uh, no damage dealt. So this doesn't even know how much damage. So the amount that your armor blocks is completely unrelated to the amount of damage that you're taking. It is purely... Sum up all of your armor, and your armor is zero. It's literally the sum of all of your armor. Take that sum. If it is less than... If your armor is greater than or equal to two, then it will do the random. Otherwise, it all... If Basically, if you have one... If you have zero armor, you always block... You always do zero armor defense. And if you have one armor, you always block one damage exactly. And then if you have two or more armor, then you block between half of your armor and all of your armor, maybe minus one, I'm not 100% sure. So, that, yeah, that's pretty simple. And then it literally will just take that and subtract it. Damage minus equals that. Does anything else modify damage? This does. Uh, damage reduction items, which would be like a protection amulet. Um, so obviously, like a protection amulet would change the amount that you take. This is a percentage-based factor. And that's prior to armor. And then armor will take effect. Um, the only other place is down here. Otherwise, blah, 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 blah. You lose mana, so that's if you have a mana shield running. You lose blah mana. So this is if it's, like, probably mana mitigated. Otherwise, it will just literally send that to you. Okay. Was cutting grass? What, what do you mean, cutting grass? What is that? What, how do you do that? Um, okay. So damage should be passed in. Yep. 
Oh, and close attack? Is that always... Uh, close attack. Does close attack always pass in the exact same damage type? Yes. Damage type 1. Yep. Perfect. There we go. Um... And then this is the uh, damage. Damage amount. Um, this is the uh, uh, shield block amount. Um, and then this is the uh, raw attack amount. Yep, so we're going to take the raw attack amount, we're going to subtract off the shield block amount. If that is less than zero, then we're doing zero damage. And then we call this, we pass that in, and then that will do armor reduction inside of there. Nah? Nah? So, let's try and get all of these statistics. Looks like that is an E-D-I. So at this point... Break, OX this, Command 3, printf, uh, raw, Attack amount, EDI, C end. How do I get a fucking reg? How, how do I get a reg? Is there a way to do that? GDB get reg value. Is there no way to get a fucking register? You fucking serious? What about examine? Okay, that works. Oh, wait. Did I seriously not try dollar? Out of all the fucking things I tried, I didn't try dollar? Sick. Okay. So the raw attack amount, um, that's prior to any mitigation. Then we get a shield block amount. And that should be eeks. It'd be nice if that stayed open and didn't randomly flicker. That would be really nice. Okay, I think it's AX. Yep, that returns a short. Perfect. So after ret. Break. Command four. Um, shield block. Amount, this should be uh, EAX, and let's cast that to a short. Hopefully we can cast that. Nice, nice. So now we have like raw rolls. Um, hell yeah. I don't know why these are in different orders. Kind of makes no fucking sense to me. But, you know, G to B. Raw attack amount. And then we sub should subtract the shield block amount. And 
And now we want to go into damage. Get armor strength. And that should be a uh, short. Get armor strength. Break X. Blah. And this is armor block amount. Okay. Now, what we should be able to do is get the exact amount of damage that we take. So, like, I just poofed, I just poofed, and I just took nine damage there. So that was nine damage. This most recent one was nine. If I take 16 and I subtract seven that was blocked by the shield, that's nine, and I blocked zero from armor. Because I never should block anything from armor because I have zero armor. So the amount of damage I take should always be the raw attack amounts... Yeah, like I just took seven. Yep. Okay. I think this is now printing all of the relevant information. It's printing the amount of armor I have. Shield block amount five, eight, seven, four. It's wild. I didn't know that you had a shield when you're naked. I'm going to go full attack. And now I should take more damage. Maybe. But yeah, armor strength should be pretty easy to compute. Okay, I am in... I'm going to go into balanced mode. I'm going to clear the window, and I'm going to record a bunch of data. Um... But yeah, I think I think it should be quite easy from this point. Damage. Damage. Close attack. Get defend. Damage. So this is with the shield. So armor is not affected by your, like, offensive, defensive stances. That's only shielding. And it looks like shielding will use uh, five shielding if you have no armor. So, let me make note of that. Raw defend. Defend. Death. Compute. Defense is five if wearing nothing. Defense is zero with a shield. Okay, or with a bow. Yeah, so like, let me put on a bow and now I'll have zero defense and I will have no mitigation. I should always be taking the raw attack amount. Nine, 12, 11, 11, 11, 16. This is really good. I have zero defend, zero armor. So I need to actually go get a bow in the game. It, given that the game, given that the, the custom server does this correctly. But this allows me to directly observe the... Um, so what I can say is no armor... And a bow means zero death, zero arm, thus no mitigation at all. The, uh, the client observes the raw attack roll, which is really, really, really cool, right? No armor and a bow means zero death, zero arm, no mitigation at all. The client gets the raw attack amount. And yeah, every single time. 13, 8, 
12. I am seeing this client side directly as is. This is going to be the best way to, like, glean attack information. So now, let's get, um, attack value. So attack comes from your weapon. And then we will probe it based on your skill type. Um... Yep, this is doing like a probe value call for that specific skill. And then that, this is going to do the random roll based on the type of attack, type of skill. Attack skill type. So what we want to do is actually go into, I think, probe value. Yep, T skill probe, probe value. This is what does the roll here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if increase. Yep, increase will increase your experience. If, if you're gaining uh, skills. I know you can't really see that. Okay. If, if the skill value is less than the minimum, so let's just rename these, min skill, actual skill, um, yep, actual skill, Min skill ran Ivar three. Um, this is uh roll one. This is roll two. Oops. Uh, min skill. Okay, so the minimum skill. Oops. Roll two. So we get two randoms. What's this? Divided by something. Um. If increase max. What is max? Is that the attack? Attack value. And if learning points is greater than zero. Okay. Um... Uh, web attack. Still here. The fuck is this? Um... D act and MD act. Why am I getting like some weird local shit here? I feel like I didn't have this before. Shift one F. Or is this a different probe? No, I think this is the one. Divided by that. If you can get the data from GDB, why are you screen scraping? Because this is a local server, and I'm trying to do this against a remote server. Um, 
Roll mod a hundred plus roll one plus what the fuck is this? Like what? What? <laughs> what the fuck is minus a hundred? This is just Geezer doing weird shit. CDQ? Is that CDQ? One C? I'm pretty sure Binja doesn't see any of this. Like, when I reversed this out last time, which would have been Binja, I didn't have any of this shit. So I have no idea what's going on here. Like, what? How? Why? Who? What? Local 1C. Yeah, it's writing the fucking roll to it. That's the roll. Move D word. What? What? Let's see if we can split this up. Uh, int. It's looking better. Oh, why is that not getting assigned? But yeah, it is. It is promoting it. Uh, but it's also writing roll one to it. I don't know why I don't see that. So it is doing an extension. What the f fuck? <sighs> You're my Hmm. Rand, rand. Like it, it's like it doesn't even see this assignment. Why? ECX to roll one. And it stores roll two. Dude, Ghidra, what the fuck are you doing? Wonder if your split to new variable fucked it? Yeah, it might have.
How do I how do I wipe that out? Yeah, how do I How do I reset that? I mean, I can clear it. Yep. Yep. No, it's just fucked. What the fuck? Come on, Ghidra. It's not that hard, man. Roll to... I mean, I'm pretty sure I have the formula from, like, Binja when I've done this in Binja. Uh, pretty sure I have it implemented correctly. So, I think what we're going to do is assume that I have that reversed out correctly. And then let's see if we can get the... Uh, the skill and the attack here. So let's put a breakpoint on this location. Info local. Uh, info R. Yep, so max, that's the skill, which is 12. So there's 12 attack and then I want the actual skill as well. And the skill can be found where? A. Oh my god, dude. Dude, just stay. EAX, I think. So, 23 skill. So EAX and max is what we want to print here. Break six. Um, web attack is going to be EAX. I think that's an int this time. And then we have the uh, web skill and that was no uh eax and then this is max uh it's lower max okay okay Yep, so now I see 12 attack and 23 skill. And what we should be able to do is go into um, uh, monster wolf. And we should have this information. Fist fighting. Wait. Wait, how was web attack high? Oh my god. Attack 12. So wolves have 12 attack. Web skill. Web attack 34. 34. Oh, is that my defense? It's now going to be 19.
Web skill 10, 34. That's from my shield, right? Because I think um I think it calls probe value for shield as well. Let me put on a bow, and then it probably won't call it. Oh yeah, web attack zero, web skill nineteen. Yes, because I have nineteen distance. I have nineteen distance, and I have zero defense. Up here, this is the wolf. The wolf should have, it has 24 skill. I thought it had 19 skill. Wep attack 12? Wep attack 12. It's not coincidentally just multiplying it by two, is it? Or is it doing a transform on the skill? Let me find another mob. We're gonna go, here's a snake. Bam, that was a snake. We got we got attacked by a snake. And what was that? Five and 11? 11 fist, five attack. Oh, has that wolf gotten skills? Is that what's happened? Did the wolf gain skills? Let's see, here's some fresh wolves. But yeah, my interpretation is this is the attack, and then this is the fist fighting. Here we go, here's some fresh wolves. That was a bunch of wolves who just attacked me. And that was... Uh, 19 and 12. Yeah, I guess the wolves just get skills. That makes sense. So I guess mobs can actually gain skill. Um, so let me kill this wolf. Oh, here's a spider. Here's a spider. So here's a new one. There we go. That was a spider. And the spider was 7 and 19. I'm going to kill this wolf. 7 attack. 19 fist. Okay. So yeah, it's a hundred percent that that wolf gains some skills. Okay. So, um, and then for me, when I do an attack, I had 16 attack and 10 skill. Um, there we go. So I just attacked a snake for one damage. Or for 10 damage. There we go. That was 12 damage on a spider. Did this scroll? Was this a new print? 15 minus 2 minus 2. 11. Bam. Uh, web skill 19. Web attack 2. Okay, taking an attack, 7 and 19, 7 and 19, yep, because I'm getting attacked by a spider, and I'm blocking, and I'm blocking, that was dealing damage, web attack 2, web skill 19. Web attack 8, web skill 10. Web attack 2, 19. Okay. How do these breakpoints work? What do you mean? It's just GDB. 
Um, get the defend value. Wep attack two. Wep skill 19. The fuck? That's fist fighting. Attack. Oh, this is uh this is the role when I attack the mob. This is their defense. And their armor is two. So this is me attacking the spider. And it has 19 skill because it's using fist fighting as its block, as its defense skill, and then it's got two D defense. So get defend value is two, web attack. That's the shield block roll. Get armor strength, armor block amount. Weapon attack, uh, 19. Web skill, 10. That's it attacking me. I don't know where my probe is for the damage I'm dealing, to be honest. But I don't really care. All I care about is inbound damage. So let's, uh, here we got another spider. This should be a fresh spider. Yup. Yup. Oh, this guy's got a little bit more fist fighting. Uh, right? No, 21 is... Dude, how do these print in a different order? It makes no fucking sense to me. Um, twenty one. What's ten? Is that my shielding? And then I have, but I don't have twenty one defense. Uh, balanced. What would be 21 with a spider? What? 7 and 19. That's the attack and the fist fighting. 7 and 19. And we have another probe. I imagine that's defense. Twenty one? From what? Seven and twenty. There we just saw the, the spider got a skill up. 24 out of 21. Probe value. Web skill. What would that be? I think it goes away when I put on a, a bow, right? Yep, with a bow, web skill 19. Oh, I think it's because I've like hacked up my skills. I think I need to go do a switch to a different character. I think that's the problem. Is my skills like aren't real cuz I hacked them? So let's uh let's fix that. So I'm going to switch to a different character here. Okay, just waiting to log out here. And I also have to edit 
someone's uh, health. Let's go find uh, another character to steal. Um, okay. Vim user 241055. Four, six. Let's just give this lady a bunch of health. All right. So she's going to have a shit ton of health. And then that will be our next character. Just waiting for logout time. There we go. Logging out. Oh, uh, server shutting down. Let me restart the server. I'm gonna make some waffles. Be right back. Why would these breakpoints be executing out of, or like printing out of order? Makes no sense to me. All right. Okay, got a new character. And got some life fluids, some antidote runes, presents. Nice. Yeah, like, why would these print out of order? That makes no sense to me. Um, okay, so it should be no damage. Oh, and it's a fresh server, so all of these mobs are reset. But yeah, the mobs do get skill ups, which is pretty interesting. Let me find, uh, maybe like a deer. Let me find a mob that doesn't attack back. Some rabbits. I'm going to go in the rabbit hole. Oh, there's a snake. Yep, I just got hit by a snake. And I took no damage. So let's see. So I, the snake... The snake attacked me. It rolled with weapon skill 11, which is its fist fighting, and its attack value, which is 5. Um, it then rolled a... Uh, it rolled a 3. So that is the roll that it got from the result of... Um, from the probe value. So it used these to, like, and some random to, to get... Three. Then we got the defend value, which is my defense, which is four plus six plus two plus one. Four, six, two, one, which is 13. Oh, sorry, defense, which is my shield. Uh, 19 defense on my shield. Then we did a probe value of 34 and 26. 26 is my shielding. I was in full defense, so maybe because I was in full defense, I'm going to go into balanced, and we're going to do the same thing. Okay, there we got hit by a snake. Uh, 3426. Okay, not 100% sure. Um...
I'm pretty sure that is my shielding. Let's see if it's doing math on it. Mm. Fuck yeah. Okay. So what the fuck is that probe? What is... What is 34? I have a shield with 19 defense. The 5 and 11 makes sense. <clears throat> That's from the snake. The 34. I'm going to imagine that's coming from shielding. And maybe there's some math that's going on there. <clears throat> shielding was done in get defend damage. Hey, Ope, how's it going? I still don't know how these breakpoints are like hitting in a random order. Mmm. Fucking egos. Let's go. Um. Get defend value. <clears throat> get defend value. Return 19. Which is my defense. And then we went into probe value with the 34. Okay. Value and skill. Local 20. So this needs to be made into a um, short. Then we have a uh, defend value, defend skill, right? <clears throat> yep, defend value. So that's going to be 19. Um... Oh, wait. In balanced mode, this shouldn't happen. Because where's the probe value call? 
here. There's going to be a probe value with defend value. Interesting. Was I just not in balance? Did it not take effect or some shit? We'll go back up. Come on, snake. Thirty-four. I'm imbalanced. Defend value. What? I'm going well. Hope you're great. I'm doing good. Now I'm getting some egos. Hmm. Hmm. I have no idea where this battle is coming from. <laughs> Max 34. Unless I'm looking at some like uninit thing and I'm just confusing myself. If we're not following in that or that learning points hmm hmm How would this defend value be changing? How the fuck? How does that work? Get object type. Hmm. I feel like the Ghidra output's really bad here. Like this Ghidra. This Ghidra output is terrible. Um. What the fuck? How is that 34? That makes no sense. What are you doing with the Wayland screen capture? <clears throat> We're scraping the damage that mobs deal so we can figure out exactly um, what the formula is for the server. Looks like normal Ghidra output. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, get defend damage. How? Close attack. How? What? Which I imagine is here. 
6 f b5 6 f b8 yeah it's the next instruction 6 f b8 yeah it's literally calling it right here this is calling probe value with defend value in defend value is according to this 34 but we just got it and it was 19. Um, what is this? What is defense skill? What is this? What's this variable? It doesn't exist. What? What's this underscore? But I don't think I'm in mode one or three. Right? I'm in balance. According to my game, I'm in balance. I'm almost done eating. <laughs> All right, bear back. Oh. Get the defense skill. <clears throat> Once we have the defense skill. Like, this is replacing stuff on the stack. Like, what even is defense skill? It's not a variable. Like, what? Um, get the defense skill. What do we actually pass in? We pass in, is it ECX? Def defense values, ECX. One, two, three. Three. Three args. SK is the skill. Uh. EDX. ECX. Defend value. ECX. Yep. <clears throat> that will fill it in. Well, then we clobbered, right? Mm. Yep, because that's going to fetch the skill and the value. Where am I doing my breakpoint for defense skill? Get defend value. Get defend value here. So this is where we're going to go. Let's see where we decided to hook. This is on ret. 
right after it sets skill. Which is in DX. Like, can we not break point there? Do we have to, uh... Is it not getting set? Um... Because there it is, it writes it out to the caller. It, it zeroes it by default. Like, I'm kind of skeptical that I'm actually printing the correct value. Which is really fucking annoying. Like, why can't I... Get defend value. Get defend value. Then we get the skills for the skill. Get the attack mode. Otherwise, we're in defense. And attack destination or defend skill. Uh, defend skill, defend value minus that. Like, what is this writing to, according to Ghidra? Like, that makes no sense. Like, what is this? What is defend skill? That's defend value. I see it overwriting defend value. But what the fuck is defend skill? It, do it doesn't exist. When I highlight defend skill, it highlights defend value. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Ghidra, you little shit. Um, is there anything I can do to like fix this? Uh, what, what is this? That's writing CX. Like, how is there concat stuff? It's literally just writing a word. What the fuck? Do we have like overlap? Dude, what what is defend skill? What is that? That's writing to defend value.
It's writing to defend value with CX. How is that? How is that a 32 bit write? Like, what the fuck? Dude, what is this? Like, this variable doesn't exist. This is concatenating something that's not being concatenated because it's literally a fucking 16-bit write. Oh my god. <sighs> um What the fuck? This is unusable. Like... What do I do here? Is there anything I can do? Can I, can I fix this function somehow? Like, what even is this? How is that? Defense skill doesn't exist. It's it's not a variable. Like it, it doesn't exist. This tack get tack. Shift arithmetic right. Sub. Like, where's all this code? I guess that's the div 10. Um. Geeter's up promoting it? But how? Into what? But it's a 30, it's a 16 bit write. How is this, how is this a 32 bit write when it's a 16 bit write? How is it writing two different values when it's writing literally just 16 bits? That's what I don't understand. How are you writing a 16-bit value over defend value, which is a 16-bit value, and somehow you're concatenating and doing a 32-bit write? That, that, that doesn't make any sense at all. It's literally wrong. And defend skill doesn't exist. There's, there's no defend skill.
Yeah, I know what Concat does. Yeah, it is a word pointer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It makes no sense. It's literally doing a 16-bit write into a 16-bit thing on the stack. The assembly says a 16-bit write of def defend value. And this is saying we're doing a 32-bit write to an unknown variable defend skill, which does not exist. It's not anywhere in the frame. We gotta look at the whole frame. No defend skill. Here's defend skill, but it's not under defend skill. And that's a two byte. That's a two byte. I I genuinely don't know how I can trust this. It makes no sense. Ugh. <sighs> Attack mode. Is it putting me in full defense? Because... I mean, if it's putting me in full defense, that might... Uh, this might make sense. Uh, so let's see. I like this where it writes to something called tack. And then here it's called uvar3 instead of tack. Up here, tax not used anywhere, but it does use UR3. But then over here, it's actually using TAC. It's it's really nice. I, I really like when it just randomly and inconsistently uses variables. It's really cool. Big, big fan, big fan. Um, uh, Attack is AL here. Okay. But yeah, if following is false, are you just always in defense if you're not... Wait, are you always in defense if you're not attacking the mob? Is that... Is that how that works? Thirty four twenty six. I'm gonna attack nineteen twenty six. Nineteen twenty six. And now I'm not attacking, and now I'm back to full death. Holy shit, the game puts you on full defense. I didn't know that. If following is false. And the attack dust is not equal to zero. If we're not following something. And. The attack dust is something I would imagine. Or. We attacked recently enough then use the actual attack mode. Otherwise use full defense. Okay. Interesting. I had no idea. So the game puts you in full defense when you're not attacking something. But if you're following something, let's see what happens. I'm 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 just following an NPC. Okay, let me go into follow mode. Nothing. Let me follow the snake. Okay, let me, uh, that is fascinating. I had no idea. Huh. That's really cool. I had no idea. 
I've never heard anyone ever talk about that before. Uh, in which case, the actual uh, defense bonus should be uh, 8 times death over 10. So we should find that 34 should be equal to um, uh, 19 plus 8 times 19 divided by 10. Yes. And that's where the 34 comes in because we're in full defense. Okay. So yeah, it's really important to be attacking mobs. Let me see if the same thing applies. How the fuck do you quit? How do you EOF it? Okay. <laughs> um, where's my bow? Oh no, did the ground get wiped? So, a bow and no armor. But then I wouldn't be defending at all. Okay, I think... I think I roughly understand how this formula should be working. So, now let's go over to the... Uh, to our ser the private server... Uh, and I guess I need to put on a bow and take off all of my armor. So, where am I going to get a bow from? Um... Bow. Bow, bow, bow. Abdendriel, 450. Okay, let's go to Abdendriel and buy a bow. from Iria. Now we get to take off all of our armor. So no armor, and then we should be, in theory, seeing raw attacks. Uh, but I doubt that's how this game works because it's, uh, I don't know. I think they just don't implement stuff correctly. Hi. Uh, luckily, if we ever see a poof, we know that we're blocking stuff. Um, let's go to Abdendriol. Yes. So this will allow us to very easily determine... Like, if we ever see a poof... Um, if we ever see a poof, we know that somehow we're still blocking stuff. Which should not be possible. With a bow. A bow should set us to literally zero, uh, honestly, I could just go use my crossbow. Nah, we'll get a bow for fun. Uh, this guy is up here. Okay, so we gotta go underground first, go to the bank, get some mm, GP. Oh, yeah. What's chat up to today? Anything fun?
I still don't understand this Ghidra issue. No. I withdraw. Yes. Okay. Oh, I think I'm Oza. That was snooze fest. Fighting what I thought was the flu, but it's looking like the Rona. Uh-oh. Is it your first Rona? Nothing like a good Rona to, to get your day going, you know? Babe, Indiana. Okay. Almost got our bow. Had it twice in the pandemic. The plandemic, you mean? Hi, bow, yes. All right, we have a bow. Let's uh, let's see if we can find a mob. Are there any caves here? So one cave up here, I forget what it uh, has. I want to find some like very weak mobs because I'm going to have zero armor. Let's try and find maybe some rats. Some rats here. Where's that hole? Here. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. All right, I found uh, I found a spot. We're gonna go get ourselves a nice rat. But we should never see poofs. Uh, what happens if the rat rolls a zero? Maybe we will see poofs. Can a rat roll a zero? I don't know. I actually don't know. <laughs> What's the formula like? Uh... So this is the waste dump. Okay, we're going to kill... All but one rat. Okay, we have one rat. One rat. And then what I should be able to do is take off all of my armor. And put on a bow. Nice! Nice! Blood. Okay, there was a poof, but that was probably just a zero roll. I imagine that they can roll zero. Uh, log, rat, bow, zero arm, zero def, dot text. Rat bow, zero arm, zero death. Bam. Okay. Let's make sure it's working as well. That looks good.
Boop. Bam. All right. We're logging everything. But yeah, I, I won't know how to determine like what poofs are yet. But yeah, I mean, first we have to extract the... This will allow us to hopefully recover the actual damage formula. Now, unfortunately, this rat will potentially get skill ups. But maybe this server doesn't implement skill ups on um, mobs. And then, yeah, I can't defend anything at all. So I won't even be getting defense rolls. That is zero, right? Defend is zero, zero, zero. Probe value. Attack death is zero. Yep. Yep, we should never be able to defend anything ever. So we're just taking as much damage as we can. Ah! I can't believe someone came down here. What the fuck? He just wanted food, I guess. He's probably like, what the fuck is this person doing? <laughs> How are they taking damage from a rat? <sighs> but yeah, I'll be really curious if this lines up with what we expect. And I think it will. So what else could it be? Why would we be taking... Like, why do dwarfs do so much different damage? Because this looks normal, in my opinion. This rat damage. Okay. Um Yeah, so let's get the uh Here's the damage simulator. Um, tibia, tibia, official damage sim. Okay, and what we should be able to do is... Uh, say that we want to be attacked by a rat. And we want... Uh, zero arm, zero death. And then let's do only one rat. Uh, is this outbound damage or inbound damage? I think this is outbound. Oh, I don't even know what this is. Uh, it's uh, this, okay, completely unrelated. Okay, now we can heal. Um, rat. Rat, 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 rat. Uh, inbound histo. Okay. 
Inbound histo. Uh, for uh, damage freak in inbound dot iter dot enumerate print len damage frequency damage let's just say freak three uh, freak ten okay okay in theory there should be uh yep, 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 yep. if frequency is greater than zero Okay. Okay. Um, offensive and defensive. There shouldn't be a difference. All right. DTPM. Okay. Um, so how does that work? DTPM, damage taken per minute. Okay, and I'm going to stop that recording just so I can leave the hole. I just need to be in a, a safer spot. I want to go AFK here. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, we'll go to the protection zone. So how are we taking different damage? Arm zero, death zero. With zero arm, zero death, Zero armor and zero death. How the fuck? It makes no sense, right? How do I have... Defense, defense, inbound, attack. Oh, this is, uh, this is an old version of the code. Oops. Okay. Rat. One rat. Skills shouldn't matter. Zero arm, zero death. DTPM should be the same for every single one. 101, 101, 101, yep, 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 yep. Nice. Okay. Woof. You ripped the code from your WoW sim? No, it's a, I mean, it's a completely different game. Um, okay. That's good. Let's get myself a bunch of health. I think I'll still probably die here. Yeah. Um... Okay, inbound histo. All right, now we're cooking for damage freak in inbound dot 
Enumerate. If damn it, uh, if frequency is greater than zero, print len. Uh, damage, damage three, frequency, frequency ten, and then bip. Okay, so now we should see the damage distributions, and they should be the same for every single uh scenario because these are just different weapons for me but that shouldn't affect anything yeah these look all all the same these look really good okay now let's see uh, and i'm going to get rid of weapons we're gonna go to just one webs. Let's just say a sickle. And then let's just say one mode, which is offensive. Actually, one mode here. And then the mode will be attack mode offensive for myself. But what we'll do is we'll actually change mob dot attack mode is equal to uh, attack mode. Let mob is equal to mob dot clone. So we're gonna clone the original mob. Then we're gonna change the damage. Um, inside of this loop, for each mob and mobs, mob. Dang. Uh, what? This? You want this? There you go, Rust. You little bitch. Okay, so now this is the different attack modes of the rat. So if the rat is in offensive, balanced, or defensive. And here we should be able to explicitly see if we ever have a 9, 8. So these are different sets of damage. So this immediately will let us know if the server is um if the server has the mobs in which mode. And zero damage should be possible in all of these modes. Zero 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 perfect. Nice. Okay. Parse. Mitch group. Mitch dot group. Uh, none type, no match. Uh, if Mitch is none, continue. What? 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 Why doesn't this work now? I didn't change anything. <laughs> Hello? What? FPS? Oh, this. I guess my FPS was lower this run. There, there she be. Well, I already see a six. Which should rule. Oh, that doesn't rule out anything. 
Oh my god, are there no sevens? Are you serious? Dude, there's no sevens. Let's see what the actual frequencies of these are. Uh, frequency, 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 uh, inbound dot iter dot copied dot sum U64. Uh, frequency 10.7, uh, which is going to be the frequency divided by total. So now we're going to see the actual like frequencies here. I mean, yeah, there's... There's no way. We have like a 7% chance of observing a 7 or an 8. How many data samples do we have? We have 158 data samples? What are the odds of that? What are the odds that out of 158 samples, we never observe uh, 8%? Dude, I think the mobs are in full defense. <laughs> Do I dare go to like a higher damage mob? Damage taken per minute, 121, 65. Oh yeah, there's another thing is just the overall damage taken. Let's just histogram this little bitch. Uh, collections dot counter. Uh, histo plus equals histo damage plus equals one. For freak damage in histo print uh, uh, this son of a bitch. Uh, damage events is equal to zero. Damage events plus equals one. Damage events floats this. I float. Where's your gavel? It's my offense this time. What? Uh, S string. How do fucking F strings work? Do you use percent for them? No. Oh, can you not do separate? I don't fucking know how Python works. Me just like another. Uh, most, um, uh, how do I iter this? <laughs> how the fuck do I iterate this? <laughs> uh, uh, I know there's most common, but I want to iterate them in order. Elements. Oh, that's repeated. Most common. Uh, 
items. Are these just going to be in a random order? Am I going to need to sort them by damage? Oops, and it's this way. Fine. Most common. And then we'll sort it. <laughs> I get fucked by fun. Okay. Uh, yep, and zeros won't be in here. Because zeros are... We don't know when we do zeros. Um... So what we're going to do is just apples to apples this. And we'll do... Uh, we'll do... Uh, let inbound is equal to inbound one dot dot. Uh, ignore zero damage events. Okay, so we're going to ignore zero damage events, which means that this damage... Plus equals one. Um, since we ignored zero damage. Okay, so now this is the distribution with zero excluded. And what do we have over here? Oh, and uh, I need to say F. There we go. So this is what rats, in theory, do. And this is what rats, in practice, do. And in theory... Dude, there's... Dude. I feel like they have to be in full depth, right? Dude, look how close that is. Like... That's not even close to 20%. How could we compare these, like, statistically? I mean, obviously, we never observe a 7. Um, 6s should be more rare. But yeah, what are the odds that we haven't... If it's in balanced, which is, I think, what they're supposed to be in... I could be wrong... And I'm pretty sure mobs are supposed to be balanced, not defense. Um. Getting the air I'm breathing. Do we just need to collect more datums? Would it help if we did a mob that did more damage? Or does that hurt us? Um, let's see, like a troll. What would a troll look like? A troll would be way more obvious, maybe. Um, 13, 14. That's tricky. We want one where there's like a clear delineator between them. What about a rotworm? Rotworms will do a lot of damage, I think. But I'm feeling safe. Yeah. Rotworms would be maybe more obvious. I don't know. I feel like the rats should be sufficient. Um, rat. Uh, let's see. Air I'm breathing. Someone wants to buy some stuff off me one second. Okay. But I need to I need to get more rat data, I think. 
Let's get in up there. Um, um rat we did observe a six i wonder how rare that is hmm Uh, um, I think I just got to collect more data. I'm going to rope out a rat. We'll do some ratting. That is really interesting. I'm surprised we've already observed a six. Could just be a fluke. So it looks like they're pretty rare. Unless we want to do different mobs. Thoughts? Like, does that help or hurt us? What's the strongest mob that I'd be okay doing? Probably a rotworm. This is weird in the distribution that this goes up in frequency. How does that happen? <laughs> how does it how does it go up for some of these? I guess just the way that they do rounding or something. Rotworm 37. That's just so much damage to take. What about a cave rat? Honestly, Cave Rat's pretty good. It'd be hard to differentiate balance versus offensive. But if this sim is accurate, then it will be extremely apparent if they're in defensive. So let's find a Cave Rat. Um... What's... Uh... God, where would I find a cave rat? Rat, rat, rat. I think Darashia has some cave rats. What about a skeleton? They don't do too much damage. I think they'll still hit for like... Oh, skeletons have other types of attacks that they do. And they can carry gear, which on this server, things carry gear. Um, Bugs. What about a bug? A bug could maybe be good. Bug is... A bug would be pretty good. Not as obvious as um, Cave Rat, in my opinion. 
What else? What else? Swamp trolls. Elf. Goblin. Hey, cave rat. That is Edron. Nice. Okay, we'll go there. No one should ever go here. So nice. So we'll have a cave rat. And we'll do the same test. But yeah, how big is our sample size right here? Uh, let's just bump this up, increase our sample count. Yeah, so what we're gonna use we're gonna use cave rats to hopefully determine um whether or not oh, how do we even get here? Up and over from there. Okay, yeah. Um yeah, cave rats should make it very obvious if mobs are in defensive or not. So then let's, oops, I did not want to do a monitor switch there. Um, let's open up the RTBA client. Let's go to program files, tibia wine, tibia and exit. Um, Hopefully we can find the bow again, because I dropped the bow. So we might have to, like, let's just keep going through some of these characters. He's got all the keys. He's got arrows. No bow. God, this dude's got... So much gold on Rook. Holy shit. Um, yeah, no bow on this character. Lady Glass didn't have a bow. Um, there's another Rooker. Hey, we found a bow. Okay. So, um, let's start collecting some damage on... Uh, on the official game. This is Cave Rat, bow zero, arm zero, death. So we'll go down here. We'll kill the Cave Rats first. Okay, there's only one Cave Rat. Now we're going to take off all of our armor. And once all of our armor is off, we're gonna swap to a bow. I'm in full attack. And we'll clear this log, so we should have both logs. Bam, that's running. And then we switch to a bow. And now I should start taking damage. Yep, took five, six, nine. Okay, nine. What the fuck? Um. Okay. And then let's go find a cave right here. We gotta go deep. Friends. Don't talk to them. But 
we should be collecting that data. But yeah, we took nine, which means that the formulas are different on this server. That's the only way it's possible for us to take nine and then not take the other on the um on the uh on the normal rat. Something's different. I, I don't know what it is. I don't even know how I'll reverse it out, to be honest. It could be the random number generator being shit. It could be so many things. Okay, I got a cave rat in root guard here. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to dequip all of our gear. And here we go. We're going to swap to a bow and we'll start taking damage. There's a seven. Three. But yeah, we're taking seven there. And there's an eight. Success. There, I took nine. Oops. Nine is the most I've ever taken here. But taking more than nine is going to be rare. It's going to be really rare. Ba -da 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 -da. We're really just taking data for a while. Okay, we're going to put armor back on this character. We'll leave this cave. And we're really just collecting as much data as we can on uh, the private server. We're going to see. Oh, uh, there was a 10 damage. So I should be able to take 10 damage from a cave rat. It's just going to be rare. Technically, I should be able to take 11, and I'll probably never observe that. Uh, but if the mobs were on full offense, we'd see 10 pretty frequently. But yes, yeah, something is different about the formula in the rounding. I don't know what we can do. I just need to collect a shit ton of data, unfortunately. Um... So, what are we at now? We'll open a, another terminal and throw it here. Um, tibia, tibia, official, ice chisel, python, parse. Yep, that's rat. And then uh, let's do a cave rat. So, here's what we have so far on the cave rat. We took nine, but um, we haven't taken ten. I don't know, dude. Like, how do you how do you reverse a formula like this? I guess I probably just Google around for like random formulas on wiki pages, because the server probably just stole what someone said the formula was, and obviously it probably wasn't accurate. Um, otherwise, like, maybe they reversed it out and got the rounding wrong. I just took another eight. But we're going to collect a lot of data here. Unfortunately, we can only take one damage per, uh, per two seconds. And I probably want, like, an hour of data. <laughs> Which is like 1,800 attacks. Unfortunately, this cost me uh, 
a decent amount of money to take damage, right? It's not free. Not free to take damage. Um, uh, samples, damage, events. Yep, we're at 157. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up this stream because I just have to collect this data and I, I literally just have to sit here for like an hour collecting data and making sure I don't die. So I'm going to make some lunch and uh, start my day and get some work done. So... Thanks for stopping by. I know we didn't go too much into like coding stuff, um, but uh, this project is just like not really uh, high prior right now. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do little bits and pieces here or there, but I've got some uh, big projects I'm working on right now. So I will see you all around. Cheers. I got to take off my headphones. My ears are killing me. See ya.